there is one topic in kite surfing that still so many kiters unsure about. And this topic is about the knots, which knot to use on your kite. In this video I'm going to tell you how to choose the correct knot to your session. power come on everybody wants to get powered right and especially the light wind day of course I'm going to connect it to the more power so how's it going to be your session then it's going to be awful most of the riders having three options on the back lines like you can either connect it to the first knot the second knot and the third knot and actually I have here Cabrinha kite perfect to show on so Cabrinha kites have these backline connections I like them they are pretty clean and clear and robust uh, for those of you who don't have this kind of connections on the back lines usually then you have it under the floater so you grab your bar you push the floater away and there will be voila three knots option I have it on my fly surfer kite so I bring it here like it's under the lines steering line tuning options extend steering line to reduce back stall and that's pretty much summarizing the whole thing to your scenario light wind you have your 12 and maybe a big board like let's say 10 knots and you will get tempted in a light wind condition to get more power out of course I'm going to connect it to the more power right so how's it going to be your session then your kite will always end up backstalling and ending up in the water on the trailing edge it's going to be a relaunch party and the perfect pain in the arse how to avoid this uh, first of all understanding these three knots what does these three knots doing it's basically a fine trim for your kite so it's pretty much the same what you can do above the bar or side of the click bar right so cool so it's not like magic and something like a wizard thing that you can just connect here with a higher line and boom you're gonna get more power it's a fine trim it's a fine trim just trimming your kite perfectly for your session uh, let's put it into this terms if your car has no gas the tank is empty there's no way you're gonna push that pedal harder it's gonna go faster right it's pretty much the same with the wind if the wind is light this do no magic it's not gonna be like ooh, more wind all of a sudden so how we can use it then what should you do in a light wind condition or what should you do if you're a beginner and you don't know what you do I would recommend you to use the main connection and then you can't really go wrong but later on you should experiment a little bit trying out different knots or if you are maybe out for a falling session kite barely really barely flies use this knot on, on like a lessons what I'm doing I never use this of course for a lesson you never need to use this but in very light wind condition and for people who tend to pull the bar all the time I use this knot I reduce the back stall I reduce the effect of you know hanging on the bar and that's why the kite stays in the air so they will have more time to process the whole thing and progress here we come to the main concept why is kite surfing very amazing comparing to windsurfing or to, to sailing or anything like this where the sail where the, the wing itself is stationary for us as a kite surfer we can move the kite and this is a huge advantage we can move the kite from 12 down to the water and back up to 12 several times we can create a lot more power like a windsurfer can enjoy the apparent wind only once he is riding right he's on the board he starts to go and that's when the apparent wind comes in the game for kite surfer, your additional apparent wind is as you move the kite up and down through the power zone that gives you the real deal. It's a fine tuning and actually if you tune, fine tune your kite the wrong way, like in a light wind you want to get more power, you will get a bad session and a lot of backstall as I mentioned. Here comes the interesting part you might ask yourself so when do we use the more power option when we want to go crazy once you know how to use your kite once you're ready to boost once you're jumping high and everything is 
is doing quite well in your kiting life, yeah, it's time to try that knot as well. What's gonna happen? On your bar, your sweet spot comes higher, so the kite will bite almost immediately or like a lot earlier than it was before with the normal setup. So you will get more hang time, more air, but it only applies when there is a lot of wind. So we beat in Costa Rica and there was this crazy guy and he just got the click bar and he wasn't happy with the tension in the lines. Meaning that he felt that he cannot really sheet in the kite. So you know the kite was like never going like properly for him like, like when he pulled the ball like boom in so creating the, the lift. It was just going a little bit in right. So what did he do? Instead of making the, the back line shorter he made the front lines a lot longer. He put like a, this piece of rope into the front lines that allowed him to fly more power only comes with more fuel what did you learn today do not get fooled by the tags like more power use the correct knots according to your session and you will have more great time on the water stay tuned thanks for watching and you know, please do the usual YouTube things. Subscribe and do comments. I'm keen to have your opinion about the topic. Peace out.